Hey guys, welcome to chemistry. I'm going to be your teacher this year. I'm Miss Carr and I'm so excited to be your teacher and I'm so excited to teach you guys chemistry. I know chemistry is sometimes seen as a hard or tricky subject, but I love it. And I hope that this year we're going to be able to grow to love it more together. Um, I know that with coronavirus and all the COVID stuff, I'm not able to see most of you in person. Um, but I hope that all the stuff will end soon and we can all get back to school and I'll be able to see your faces and really get to know each of you. Um, I'm going to talk more about Canvas later and post a video about how to work through the things and where to find all of your assignments. Um, but hopefully you guys are able to find this assignment and this is one of your first things to do um, for this class. And today I want to kind of talk about how we're going to learn how to think like a chemist this year. That's one of the first steps with science is learning how to think like a scientist. And what we have to learn how to do is ask questions. Um, I know sometimes people are scared to ask questions because they think it shows what they don't know. But asking questions actually shows that you do know and that you are interested and engaged. And so we're going to learn how to ask questions this year. And so I'm going to do a couple demonstrations right now with you guys. And I want you to be thinking of questions. Um, and you'll have to submit these questions down below, so make sure that you're thinking about them while I'm doing these demonstrations. Um, how you ask questions is you think about things like, how does this work, or why does that work, or what kind of substance is that, or questions like that. And so I'll be thinking about those things as I'm doing these demonstrations and thinking about things that you don't understand or things that seem confusing or things that don't make sense while I'm doing these, okay? So the very first demonstration that we're going to do is I'm going to take this liquid, you know, and maybe a question that you have is what is this liquid or something like that. Um, and also when we do demonstrations in this class, we're going to have to wear goggles a lot. So I'm going to make sure to put those on to help protect my eyes. Um, and so for this demonstration, I'm going to take this dollar bill. Okay. And I'm going to burn this dollar bill, but I'm not going to actually burn the dollar bill itself. Okay. So, in order to do that, I'm going to dip this dollar bill in this solution, and I'm going to make sure that it all gets wet. Okay, and then I'm going to light it on fire. So remember, to be thinking of what questions you might have about this demonstration. Okay, so we got it all wet, and here we go. Actually, let's turn off the lights first. Let me grab those really fast. Sorry about that. This will just make it a little bit better for you guys to see what's happening. So yeah, I got the dollar bill all wet. We shut off the lights and let's see if we can get it to light. All right, there we go. And as you can see, the dollar bill lit and now it's fully out, but I still have the dollar bill, you know, present. It didn't burn at all. So that's the first demonstration we did is that. So maybe think about a question or two you have, or maybe even a comment. Maybe if you know how it works or have an idea of how that works, how we're able to burn this dollar bill without actually burning it, you could also submit that as your response. All right, we're going to do our second demonstration. So I also want you guys to be thinking about questions during this one. Um, and if it helps, you could just write them down while I'm doing the demonstration. Um, so like I said, chemistry is a kind of a tricky subject and it's seen as seen as something that's really hard and there's lots of new things that you're going to have to learn in this class and I really I get that I've taken lots of chemistry classes um, and I wrote some of the things that you guys are going to have to learn this year on this big long styrofoam stick you know it says things like half-life significant figures nuclear energy stoichiometry electronegativity all of these terms that are probably new to most of you guys and I get that and I want to help you guys learn that and I want to help you guys get these things into your brain so you can do well in this class. So I guess I have a question before I try to stick this in your brain. Do you think that this stuff's going to be able to fit inside all of this stuff? All right, let's try it out. So remember, be thinking of the questions as we're doing this. All right, so far it's going in. Do you think we're going to be able to get it all? I think we're about halfway there. You guys are learning, learning all these things. And I'm hoping to be the teacher this year that can help this all fit, help all of these hard concepts um, make sense in your brain and help you guys understand them. 
and hope you guys actually enjoy chemistry and enjoy your science class. Because I know it's normally seen as a hard, tricky thing, but I don't want it to be that way this year. I want it to be fun and enjoyable. And so maybe you're thinking about some questions right now or some comments that you have about how this is working. How is this going into your head? We're almost there. It's the last quarter. We got to keep going. Keep learning these last few things. All right, I think we made it all fit. Good job, guys. That's what's gonna happen this year to you is that we're gonna have lots of things that we need to learn, but I'm going to help you guys learn them. I'm gonna help you guys understand them. And even though it was this big, long styrofoam stick, it's gonna be able to fit all in your brain. You're gonna be able to know these concepts and understand them and explain them. Um, I can't wait to have you guys in my class this year and to help you guys learn chemistry. Um, for this assignment, like I said, this is one of your first assignments, and what I want you to do is at the top of the page, there's going to be a blue submit assignment button that you're going to push, and then below there will be a text box for you to type in, and in that text box, I want you to think about the questions that you had, or maybe some of the comments, if you have an idea of how maybe some of this stuff worked, some of these demonstrations worked, and I want you to type those out for me. So try to at least do one for the first demo, either a question or a comment, and then one for the second demo, either a question or a comment. And type that up, submit it to me. That'll be some of your first points in the class. Um, and I can't wait to help you guys continue to learn how to ask questions and think about questions as we study chemistry this year.